All right, what's up guys? Today I'll be going over the new tether changes in update 2.0 and see if it works with certain weapons that I didn't before. So before update 2.0, it only worked with the primary and energy slot, but before we did not have shotguns, snipers, and fusion rifles in that slot, and all those things were in the heavy slot, and it did not buff heavy damage at all. When he shot at someone, the number stayed the same, and when he shot a body shot, the number didn't even light up yellow. So it literally did not take the tether buff at all for heavy slot, but it did work with the energy and primary. But once again, now that we have things like shotguns, snipers, and fusions in that slot, it's going to be interesting to see if it works with those weapons now also. Then, the second part of the video, I'll be talking about Orpheus Rig. But first, let's look at the damage numbers without tether. So as you saw right there, I used that hand cannon. I'm going to be using the EP shotgun, then also the whisper for the three different slots. And as you see with the numbers, finally to the whisper and I'm gonna be using box breathing and trench barrel on both weapons that way I can show that it stacks with those buffs also now the first tether one with the hand cannon as you saw right there we went from 881 to 1189 damage which is 35% on the dot now moving on to the EP shotgun so once again grab the melee for trench barrel and now I hit 5107 as you saw there which once again was 35% on the dot exactly how it should have been then with the sniper which didn't work before let's see if it works now i still hit the exact same number 9716 which is unfortunate but honestly to be expected but one thing we learned it does work with energy weapons including shotguns fusions and snipers now but i wonder with heavy does it at least share damage when they're tethered and as you see when i shoot the ogre the other enemies are tethered do share damage and they die also so at least heavy shares damage i believe it did before but i never really tested it but now shotguns, snipers, and fusions now get the 35% buff, which is very good as long as they're in the energy slot. So the rest of this video, I'm going to be talking about the Orpheus rig changes. So the first thing is they changed the values of super you get for just tether and red bars to be more consistent. As you saw, I tether like seven, maybe eight acolytes right here, and I almost get my super back, which is pretty good. And when I tether one major or ultra, I get a lot of my super, basically 50%. But one thing they change is when you tether enemies that have already been tethered you get less energy almost none as you see here i tether this entire room shoot another tether which hit the ceiling unfortunately but i tether a bunch of the ads again and as you saw i tether like nine more things right there and i only got that little chunk so as you tether ads that have already been tethered you get less energy which means you can't chain it forever on the same ads and create orbs for your team over and over again kind of like in the argos fight but as you see here something in ep where there's a lot of different ads spawning i can use it in one wave then the next wave of enemies spawning i can use it on them so you can still chain it but you just can't use it on the same enemy over and over again to create a bunch of orbs which i think is fine because let's be real that was kind of ridiculous the fact that you can just create 10,000 orbs off 10 ads over and over and over again until you're ready to use all those orbs. I don't have the most time on this setup before update 2.0 or after, so I'm not the best one to speak on the topic, but I think this change was necessary and I think it's good overall. But anyways, Tether got a lot better with this update because now it at least works with some shotguns, some snipers, and some fusion rifles, which is very good, which means you can Tether a lot of bosses in a lot of scenarios now and actually, you know, get the 35% buff on weapons that you're actually shooting at the boss which is very good, then it also shares damage with those weapons also. Overall, I think Tether got a lot better in Update 2.0. Let me know what you guys think about all these changes. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.